and welcome to this video. My name is Kieran Glover, for those of you who don't know, and I'm a digital designer. And today, we're gonna to be making a video, or I'm gonna be making a video of how to take hand-drawn icons, bring them into Sketch, and kind of like mock them up in Sketch, and then take them into a live site, or a site you're developing in Webflow, and add some animations. Now this may be a two-part video, because I'm not quite sure how long it's gonna be, but yeah, that's what we're gonna get up to today so let's get started I've already done a few rough kind of uh, drawings on uh, in my sketchbook and I'm just gonna ink them real quick so that they'll show up a bit better when I uh, scan them with my phone and bring them into sketch but as you can see they're just some simple icons that I uh, have drawn and there's gonna be two of them and yeah we're gonna bring them into sketch now jump on the computer and just go over them and you can see how that looks So just before I begin uh, tracing over the icons, I've already scanned them in and they're in another document that I've written, but just so you know, the icons are going to be for this website, which is actually a project I'm working on at the moment. It's for a, um, you know, a residence in, in Cambodia. And yeah, I've basically got m most of the website done already. I mean, I'm just going to add here where you can see these two squares here, if that's where the icons are going to be. So the kind of if you saw in the sketches the city kind of icon which is going to be another page about the kind of area and then the book of viewing which is just going to go to a contact form and I've also got to finish this and add a photo but I'm not going to show you all that I'm just going to show you the process of taking a hand-drawn icon uh, going over it in sketch and then bringing it over into Webflow and doing some few basic animations with that so yeah let's get started with that so as you can see in another sketch file, I've already used my phone and I use an app called Cam Scanner, I believe. I'll link that in the description if I remember. And I just traced it in now. And I've also created an artboard which I'm just going to use. So I'm going to drag that in here. I'm going to maybe change the opacity a bit. I'll make it 50% maybe. Maybe even less. Because as you can see, like it was a good idea to go over it in there. Pen. And as you can see, my drawings are really, really rough, but that's okay because I'm going to straighten it all out uh, now. I'm going to make this even 20%. Okay, yeah, so now that's all brought in. All I did was, yeah, use the Cam Scanner app and then upload it to my Google Drive and download it and bring it into Sketch. So it's quite a simple uh, process there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to time lapse this now that I'm just going to trace up the icons and you can sort of see how that looks. Or I was just basically tracing it over and basically picking on the most important elements of it uh, rather than trying to pick in all the detail and trace it exactly you know I straightened it up and made it more uh, basically digitalized the whole thing and I'm really happy with the result actually um, and I just wanted to share with you a few tips that are useful when you know making more kind of complex shapes like these arches uh, in sketch so if you may or may not have seen uh, if we just go into the inner panel here basically to make that shape say combined circle and, and a rectangle so I just select the circle you know I can adjust that and make it more arch like if I, if, if I think that looks better but I quite like it with a slight kink and it. it looks quite quite nice quite like a more window like I guess um, but yeah it's just important to remember you know when you're designing icons you want to try and keep things as simple as possible in my opinion so you want to keep things simple because you're going to possibly be resizing it to different uh, sizes and things like that um, but also you have to remember like if you are making more complex kind of shapes everything's made up of more simpler shapes if you take a look at it at sort of like face value so for example this arch is just a circle and a rectangle combined so 
it's quite easy in Sketch to do that. You know, you have this union button, you just draw them on top and select them both and then press union and then you have a more kind of complex shape. And if you want to make an icon of something, uh, you know, just take a look at an item and, you know, just break it down into the more simple simple shapes that you that you see. So um, I've found it really useful to look at buildings at the moment, you know, in both my illustration and my digital work because, you know, fundamentally a building is made up of more simple shapes. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's just a small tip. And another small tip, when you're making icons, I'm just going to add a small couple of guidelines here to make sure both icons are around about the... the same height because of course I drew this one a lot smaller make sure that when I draw this one it's going to come out the same height as the other one but yeah I'm going to just do the other one now and then bring it into the design and then we'll move into bringing it into Webflow. <laughs> icons now and as you can see it took me a little while in the time lapse to get them sort of like a consistent style but I'm really happy with how they're looking now actually you know quite a um, you know simple but effective uh, style that I think is going to work really well with the the rest of the website so then once um, as you can see that was the you can't see that anymore that was the trace I've just grouped them all together so they're all sort of ready to go and I think as I'm working in another sketch file, I don't really need to export it. But if you wanted to export them to use in another project, you would go down here to export uh, the, the selected group. And then you have all the various settings. And as an icon, you probably want it as a PNG. Um, and at two times uh, for Light Retina display. And that's what I'll be doing when it comes to importing them into Webflow. So I'll, I'll go over that again in a minute. But for the meantime, I'm just going to go Control C and then flip over to the website here that I'm working on and paste it into the web page that I'm looking at and replace it in this kind of space here uh, that I've got. So as you can see, I feel like they're looking quite nice, consistent with the rest of the uh, style of the, of the website. Actually, I'm going to keep that box there now. It's good practice when you're designing icons to have some kind of bounds around the icons. I didn't do it exactly in this uh, video, but I'll, I'll show you how to do it now. So you just have this box now, and if we get that selected and the neighborhood icon and group those together, just call this neighborhood icon. I just, uh, control G is the shortcut for uh, grouping icons. And then just before you export it, you just want to make sure to hide that bounds. And you do this because it keeps things all the same size, you know, if you're, if you're moving, moving icons around and, you know, when you're making an icon set, for example, you want everything to be uh, all the right size. I'm just going to shift that over one couple of pixels because it's not quite where I want it. I want it just overlapping that line. There we go. So sometimes you don't catch up, ca catch up. You don't <laughs> pick up on these kind of small things uh, as you're as you're uh, doing it. I'm just going to tighten up the. Oh, just make sure the bounds is selected. And double click on that. Just just want to make sure it's exactly flush to the icon, and this line is also not quite the right size, unfortunately. Yeah. So it's important just to when you're doing icons to really zoom in as far as you can sometimes to get it really uh, pixel perfect. Okay, so that's looking pretty sweet now. So we're going to hide that. Um, going to make it a bit smaller in a sec, but let's just oh, not that copy in the uh, contact icon as well. And that's looking pretty good. So, just as we did before, I'm going to select the icon we just dragged in here. And that's the contact icon. As you can see, I haven't really grouped up all this text and stuff like that, which you probably should do to keep things a bit more organized. But anyway, so we'll group these up. I'm going to go contact icon. 
and then yep that's looking pretty good and if we just hide that as well and yeah that's looking good I'm gonna make them a bit smaller just to make it more easy to see yeah and as you can see when you're resizing you may have to change some of the widths of the lines and stuff like that but I'm just gonna jump into the time lapse again now and just resize these and redo the lines just to make sure they're you know, correct and stuff, and I'll catch up with you guys after I've done that. So I'm just back from going out and taking a few photos and stuff like that, and I've just finished off doing a few additions, uh, not additions, just a few changes to the icons just to make sure all the lines look correct with the rest of the side, and I feel like it's uh, looking pretty nice at the moment, um, and yeah, I'm just about to just take it into Webflow really, and I'll jump into the screen capture to do that, but if you'd like to take a look. There, as you can see, I've just, uh, made the lines a bit finer which fits better with the brand I'm going for and just adjusted the sides and added a few more bits and pieces. In this map I think I'm going to have an overlay as well but like I said I'm not going to go into too much detail about the website itself. This is more just an exercise to see how I've taken the hand-drawn hand icons from my notebook, sketchbook, whatever and put it into sketch and now take it into Webflow so it's just like an extra step in my kind of usual workflow when I'm building websites. But yeah, I'm going to jump into uh, Webflow now. very very basic wireframes of the uh, site here in Sketch but I've got the padding mostly the same but obviously the content's not done yet and stuff like that but yeah it's just basically a little bit of context for what I'm going to show you now. But as you can see we've just arrived at this uh, find out more section and I'm going to export the icons and then bring them into Webflow. So. Oh, baby, let the love be free. I reach for you honey. You reach for me